Let's talk about why failure is the best thing that could actually happen to you with a little quick story. So if you want to be successful, you have to go through failure when you really think about it. So for me specifically, I had a job, I was in IT, I was a leader, I was doing great, I was living the American dream, if you will, but then I got laid off. Got laid off enough to the point to where I said, screw this, I'm tired of this whole nine to five job thing where I'm not in control of my life, so I'm gonna day trade. And what ended up happening? I had 18 grand left in my bank account, and I said, okay, I'm laid off, I have nothing but time, let me just figure out trading. Started trading, and I went from 18,000 to like what negative 3,000 <laughs> before I knew it basically so I said okay this doesn't make any sense I thought I was getting it but I'm not getting it and the 18th the all that money lost basically was in a period of a couple months or so so but here's the catch I took hundreds if not thousands of trades and let's just say it's 1,000 trades that I did and I lost as far as over 51% basically right so if that's the case here's the question why the next month, once I said, I need more money, let me get my 401k, pull out 13 grand, all of the 13 grand, including penalties. Why was I successful after that? I was successful after that because I said, okay, so I lost a thousand trades technically overall, and now I'm successful, but why? I was successful because I lost a thousand trades. I deserve the success that comes after losing a thousand trades the correct way, not the incorrect way. So you have to define the two basically, right? Because I did, I lost correctly versus incorrectly. Losing correctly is you have a strategy, you're forming a strategy and you're doing things correctly. Pre-planned entries, pre-planned exits for a win, pre-planned exits for a loss. So you're doing something strategically that should give you a profitable outcome versus losing incorrectly of like, I'll buy this, I'll buy that, you know, it's cool over there. Oh, my friend John said buy this. None of that crap, that's losing incorrectly. You don't even have a plan. You can't get in the car just to drive places you not even know where you're going it doesn't make any sense so i lost correctly but it made me have a strategic plan that i could formulate and correct and hone in on to make my own strategy that could work correctly for me so i went from negative to zero dollars slash break even to a few hundred dollars regularly to thousand dollars a day trades to multiple thousand dollars a day with trading and that just continued from there so when you really think about it, I deserved my success because my failure was enough to help me push through all of that. You're sitting here, or a lot of you all are sitting here saying, well, you know what? I took 100 trades, lost a few grand, and I think I deserve my success. And realistically, I don't think you deserve it yet. You haven't lost enough. Keep losing. I'm not talking about financially necessarily. It doesn't have to be like you lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. If you're losing hundreds of thousands of dollars, you already doesn't make any sense because you shouldn't be putting that much in the account for you to trade with. Trade with as, much, as little as possible to try to be as consistent as possible. That's the whole point of this. Not for you to try to bankroll right off the bat. You're losing a lot because of that. You deserve to personally lose because you haven't taken a thousand trades or even 2000 trades for practice, whether it be fake money or real money with the smallest amount of money on the line so you can uh, learn as much as possible with the smallest amount on the line. That's what you're missing. You think it's quick. I hear the whole stat of 90% of traders fail. Well, of course they fail. 90% of us everyday people, if we go try to be a doctor or a lawyer, will fail. The only reason why 90% fail or why that stat technically is correct uh, more than what would it be for a doctor is because when you think about it, it's easier to go try to be a day trader or a swing trader than it is to go be a doctor because you have to go a lot of pre-med school before you can even get to med school. There's so many people that fell out of pre-med before you get to medical, period. You're trying to tell me it's, that it should be higher than 90%, it should be lower than 90%, excuse me, um, of people that are be able, able to be successful with day trading? Look at the math, real quick, before we end this. Look at the math. Let's say, I don't know, let's say a million people try to day trade, because I'm sure it's way more than that anyway, and only 10% are successful. 100,000 people are successful? That's, a, a, that's freaking amazing. You have the numbers wrong. 10% is phenomenal. It Technically, I don't know what the stat is for people to become doctors that try to go to become a doctor and become a doctor, but I'm willing to bet that's extremely higher than the, the people that actually attempt to become a doctor. Might be wrong, might be the same, 
but I don't know. But again, people don't deserve to become a doctor, just like people don't deserve to be a day trader unless they put in the work beforehand. So if you're trying to be a day trader, put in the work and get started now.